a, a popular joystick to use with the Xbox adaptive controller is an UltraStick 360. And the uh, UltraStick 360 is uh, available for, uh, directly from the manufacturer or through uh, other websites like uh, the, my QuadStick website. Um, it will um, plug into either side of the XAC and can uh, operate as a left or right joystick. Uh, however, some people have a problem with the uh, with the ultra stick not centering uh, properly, uh, and they'll, their character or their camera will drift slightly. And so, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. So, we'll use a, a website called GamepadTester.com to illustrate the problem. So I've got a, an XAC with an ultra stick plugged into the left port and I'm very slightly wiggling the joystick uh, on the ultra stick. And you can see that the the left analog joystick here responds to the, to the slightest movement. The problem is mechanically it doesn't always come back to the same place and uh, a lot of games will have a very small dead zone and so if it's like you know loft to the side or like that a little bit the character will be slowly drifting off <coughs> and uh, we we want to get rid of that so so the way we do this is we uh, will program the ultra stick to have a, a more uh, definite center point so to do this we go to their to their website uh, this is the ultramark uh, com website. These are the websites we'll be using. So ultramark.com and then their uh, page devoted to the UltraStick 360 and then of course the Gamepad Tester. So the so we go to ultramark.com and we will uh, go to the UltraStick 360 page and then go to UltraStick Downloads. And here we want to download a program called Ultramap. And um, this is a Windows program that will let us uh, set the dead zone in the center of the, of the joystick movement. So I'm going to download it and install it. And now I'm going to unplug the ultra stick from the XAC and plug it into the computer directly. And um, just to show you what that looks like, is here it is. And um, you can see the the axis zero and one. The values change as I wiggle it around a little bit. Um, so with the ultra map program, which I will run. We're going to add a uh, a new map to the uh, to the joystick. So to do this, we go and we edit Ultra Stick Maps, and we're going to create a new one. I'm going to call it um, XAC, and <coughs> so to uh, this at this point. The entire uh, map is an analog position, or an analog output in every position, um, and they divide the uh, the map up into um, uh, you know these nine large squares, and then <coughs> within a large square, I'm, I'm going to press um, a T to toggle between the large and small. Uh, square settings, and so now I've zeroed in on on the di the center square, and then I'll press enter, and then I'm going to press the letter C, and so this 
uh, setting the cell to center will cause it to output uh, a you know, basically a zero value for that location. So everything around it will still be analog values, but in the exact center, this little area, we're going to have um, a zero output. So I click OK and I close. And now on the um, joystick map, I, I choose our new map and click on download and this quickly downloads it into the ultra stick and <clears throat> we're done um, so the, the now if we go to the um, the website the test website now I'm, I'm wiggling the joystick like I was before but you see there's no change in value this uh, you know zero zero three nine two value that's just what this website displays for the for the the dead you know the, the exact center so I've got to move it off a little bit doesn't take much but I definitely have to get into you know actually moving the joystick a little bit maybe just like a quarter of an inch off of center okay so now I'm going to unplug it from the computer and move it back over to the XAC <coughs> And so now on this left analog, I'm I'm gently wiggling it, and we're getting no movement at all. And then I I move it just a little bit more than that. So th this is like probably less than a quarter of an inch. I'm moving it. We start to get an output value, and it's fully analog. You know, once we get past that little center point. <clears throat> so this should help with um, these drifting issues. And um, now I'll go back. I'm going to show you it. Um, if you still have issues with the um, the drifting, we're going to make a bigger dead zone in the middle. So I'm going to move it back over to the computer. And bring up uh, Ultra Map. And we're going to create an, an another map. And um, I'm going to call it XAC uh, Big. And so what we're going to do is <coughs> I'm going to select the center area. And I press the letter C. So I hit Enter, then C. And so now this <coughs> a much larger area in the center will be uh, essentially zero. And click OK close this out and they show you the a small picture of the map here I'm going to download it to the ultra stick and then move the ultra stick over to the to the XAC and of course I don't have a, a camera showing you how far I'm pushing it but I have to push it quite a bit farther to get it to come out of its zero position so um, That'd be an option as well. So that's a that's a way to fix this uh, drifting problem if you if you're using the Ultra Stick 360 with the Xbox Adaptive Controller.